Good morning, YouTube. Our project for today is that we're going to take this 2001 Tahoe and we're going to change its accessory outlets, its 12 volt accessory outlets, um, from constant power, no matter what the switch position is, the ignition switch position is, to coming on only with the ignition switch. I'll show you why. I've recently gotten a wolf box rear view camera because this this vehicle didn't have a, a backup camera and I need it. So anyway, I put the uh, camera on there and it has a 12 volt adapter to it. And if I plug it in here to the outlet, uh, before I did the modification, it would simply stay on all the time and just run the battery down. So when I needed to use the backup camera, I would plug it in. But I know that I'm going to forget to unplug it. Uh, and so what's going to happen is after that happens, uh, I'll come back out and the battery will be dead. So I thought, well, let me make it idiot proof and let me make these outlets right here switched so that only... Those outlets only have power when the ignition switch is in the run position. Now the ignition is off right now and the cigarette lighter outlet will be always on. Okay. And I don't know if you can see because of the, the light there, but it's, uh, it's powered on, the ignition is completely off. Well, that's fine for the cigarette lighter. But we don't want that for the accessory outlets. So we're going to plug in our Wolfbox backup camera. And you see there is no light until I turn on the key and then it comes on. So that's what we're going to end up with at the end of this video. So although the procedure that we're about to do is very, very simple... I urge you not to undertake this if you if you question your ability to understand electrical circuits. Now, it is very very simple, but you can if you don't do one th particular thing, you can have problems. So, let me show you what we're going to work on. Driver's side. Down under here there's a fuse box right by your parking brake. That black box right there is what we're going to take apart. Well, we're not going to take it apart. We're going to take the cover off. Okay. And then up here in the engine bay, we've got the... This is the fuse junction block up here. And these are the two places that we're going to work. We're not going to take any dash apart or anything like that. We're simply going to work here and under the dash right there. You remember I told you that uh, you have to be sure about, let's see if we can focus here. You have to be sure that you understand electricity or well, electrical circuits. The reason I say that is because this fuse right here, this 20 amp job right here, that's what runs your accessory outlet. Your It's called aux power right there. Now your three well, in my case, it's three for this 2001 Tahoe. The three 12-volt accessory outlets are run by this 20-amp uh, fuse. And, as we said before, it runs all the time. It's got 12 volts hot all the time. So, you could simply take this fuse out. And let's, let's take that dude out. Boy, I bet... Video is really gonna probably make some people sick. Okay, all right, so we took the fuse out, the fuse went right in that slot right there, and we killed the um, we've till, killed the accessory power outlets. Well, that's great, however, if you sell this vehicle and and for some reason somebody looks in here and says, Hey. 
there's no fuse here. It needs a fuse here because that's the accessory outlet. Well, if they put a fuse on here, now you're gonna have trouble, okay? So that's why I stress, this part is what you really have to pay attention to. Let's talk more about it. So here's an overview of what we're gonna do. Over here, we got the three 12 volt accessory outlets that's in the truck. In my Tahoe, there's one, two up in the console, uh, up in front, and the third one is back by the back door, okay? All the wires have individual wires and they come to this point up underneath, right next to your brake pedal, underneath the dash, this junction box right here. And they all come together to one connection point. And that's where the pin is that we'll talk about. And from here, there's a line that goes through the firewall. It goes out to underneath the hood to the fuse box that's above the uh, driver's side front fender. Okay. The overview of what we're doing is we're going to disconnect this wire right here. We're gonna pull the fuse. And in my case, I just cut it. I cut that wire, heat shrinked it, and got rid of the, this wire right here. So that means this circuit is now completely dead. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna put a jumper between this point and this point, this is our switched power that the power pin comes on when you turn the key to run, okay? And what we're gonna do, when you put the jumper between here, oh, my pencil just broke, between here and here, now there is power on this whole circuit that's coming from here, but, I cannot emphasize enough, you must disable this so that someone in the future does not come and put a fuse in here and now you have power, you have unswitched power, constant power, bucking the switched power. This is what's very important. This is why I made so, such a caution statement to begin with, okay? So as long as you disconnect this wire right here up in the fuse box, in my case, I did it under the fuse box, okay? You are golden. You put your jumper in here, from here to here, and now all these outlets worked with switch power. You turn your uh, key to run, and off you go. So to do everything that we can to prevent any monkey business from somebody putting a fuse in there, let's talk about this for a second. A couple of things I do, just because I'm OCD, one is I put a note in here that says the aux power, that one right there, I said that the aux power is abandoned, okay? Also, the next thing I did, just in case whoever buys my truck can't read, what I did is I lifted up, sorry, this one-handed camera thing ain't working. I lifted up this fuse box, which is which is not hard at all. There's a tab right down in here. There's two tabs right over here. I lifted up the fuse box, this, this big box under here. Oh, you also have to take this off. Not a problem. Take this box off, and I clipped and heat shrunk the wire that goes on the output side of this fuse. You could do input, you could do output, but... I did the output. So if I ever want to reconnect this, all I have to do is lift this box again, put those wires back together. But I won't, because I'll always want those accessory outlets to be switched. So two things I did, or three things. One, take the fuse out for the aux power, the 20 amp fuse. Take it out, okay, and I have to put it right up here in a little spare spot. Um, two is write yourself a note there that will remind you, hey, that's why there's no fuse there. And, and three, to me, most important, is to disable the orange wire that comes off of this down below this, this box. Just lift it up and snip it, heat shrink the ends so that there's no bare wiring, and you're good to go. From then on, it is a breeze. All right, so here we are underneath the um, underneath the driver's side dash, 
right by the kick panel. I'm going to remove this cover. With this little hex nut. Come on, man. Get on off there. Get. Uh-oh. Might be stripped. It's plastic. Well, let's just pull it off there. Okay. All right. So, got the cover off of there. What you're looking at right now is a, a junction box and relay box for many of the circuits in the truck and the 12 volt accessory circuit is in here and i'll tell you right now the pin is right here you'll see a little jumper wire that i've put on here let's take all this off So I simply took the wire tracer that I got from Home Depot or Lowe's. I've had this for a million years. And for automotive work, for electrical wire tracing, it's invaluable. Could not get by without it. And anyway, it's called a fox and hound or a tracer or a toner. And this little box right here puts out a little tone through these wires and right now I've got these two wires the red and black connected to just an old 12 volt adapter I had laying around what we're going to do is we're going to take this tone that's coming out of this box and since we know that our accessory outlet is dead and has no voltage on it we're going to insert this into any one of our accessory outlets it doesn't matter because they're all bridged together and that it's going to put a tone on every one of the outlets that's connected to this circuit. So let me show you how it works. I've got the tone turned on on this box and on my um, probe, okay, you can see it's got a, uh, it's got a little contact point there. You simply go around until you find what you're looking for and it tells you, hey, you have found the wire. So I'm gonna take this and then stick it right up there. And now we have inserted our tone into the circuit of the truck of the accessory outlets. Let's go under here. And I'm sorry about the camera thing. I'm so shaky. I'm gonna take our, our probe here and we're just gonna look around until we hear okay i hear a little bit of the sound right there but it's not very loud okay i'm gonna poke around until i hear that and then i'm gonna come right up here oh that's it i found it okay so and this is also how I found the wire that goes up to the front uh, in the junction box is with this little toner. So it's very, very handy to have. So you can see what you'll, you'll have. This is what you're going to start out with right here. The reason that we want to work right here is because the power wire comes in from the fuse box, the junction box that is under the hood and it comes to the back of this panel. And from here, it branches out individual wires to each one of your accessory 12 volt outlets. So there's two of them that leave the back of this panel and go up to the dash. And in my case, there's one that leaves the back of this panel and goes towards the back 12 volt accessory outlet by the lift gate. This pin right here that my fingers on, let's see. That pin right there is the connection and test point for all those accessory outlets. Now here's the important thing to remember. Remember we have disconnected the power coming from the junction box to this box here. So the accessory outlets are dead. So that's why it's very important that we disconnected that wire or removed power because what we're going to do is we're going to 
jumper, or we're going to put a jumper between switched power on this panel somewhere and that pin. That's all we're going to do. So, and I'll tell you right now, I found switched power up here on this pin up here on the very top. What you'll have to do is to confirm on your vehicle to confirm that this is indeed switched power. Put a, uh, put a test light on here, 12 volt test light on a pin and turn your key on and off. Make sure that it is a switched outlet. Okay, before you do any work, let's say that before we even started this adventure, this pin right here would be hot all the time because it would have a direct connection to the 20 amp fuse in the junction block. But we disconnected that. So now this is dead. Confirm that it's dead. Make sure and put your, your voltometer on there and make sure that that dude is dead. Okay. So in this case, I'm, I've confirmed it. Okay. We are going to take a jumper wire. This little guy right here. Okay. Got two little spade lugs on there. Put a quick connect. And we're going to jump her from where the uh, switched power is up here. And we're simply going to connect one side to the switched power, the other side down here to the uh, connection pin or the test pin for the accessory outlets. Very, very simple. So let's take these, these plugs out. And as you know, always take a picture of what you start with before you ever mess with it. So, you, so you'll... Make sure and not stick something in the wrong place. <clears throat> All right, so this is what your, <clears throat> excuse me for a minute, my light fell down. This is what you're dealing with right here, is this junction box. This has just got relays and stuff, you're not concerned about that. But, but anyway, we're gonna jump her from this point right here down to that point right there. And that's all there is to it, really. Once you've disconnected the power coming to this point, you jump it, you're done. Here's the finished product. Simply jumping from the switched pin down to your accessory outlet pin. Make sure that your connections are firmly seated so it doesn't pop off and make you wonder, hey, oh, something's wrong. Reinstall your connections in the places where you took pictures, so you'll remember what it was, and then put your cover back on. Well, I forgot to show you the best part, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about something other than what, thinking about something other than driving, I'm thinking about what I'm gonna have for, for a meal, and I'm not thinking about this wolf box, and I shut the truck off, and I hop out, and I go in the house. And what happened? The wolf box turned off. So all of your outlets will now be uh, operated by the key. No more leaving devices on in your accessory outlet and having your battery run down. So I hope yours went as smooth as mine does. Remember to disconnect the power coming from the fuse box. Okay. See you. Good luck.